Daily Trouble. I'm Daily Double. Welcome, Welcome to, to Double, Double Trouble, Trouble News. <laughs> Oops. Our top story tonight. The 2016 presidential election. There are 17 candidates running for the Republican nomination, and it's starting to look like a circus out there. It looks like right now, businessman and TV personality Donald Trump is leading in the polls. Let's go now to Mr. Trump, who is currently in Manchester, New Hampshire, seeking votes for the first in the nation primary this fall. Hello, Donald. How's the campaign going? First of all, call me Mr. Trump, you loser. I'm doing better than anyone else, and the people love me. Okay, Mr. Trump, how does it feel to be ahead in the polls? It's what I expected. I tell it like it is. And you're a loser. The mainstream media doesn't get it. Hey, we're in Double Trouble News and nothing can affect us. Why do you keep insulting people? Because I tell it like it is, like it really is. And now the question everybody wants to know. What's up with your hair? Hey, nobody has better hair than me. I'm the richest, smartest, best looking candidate running for president. And I got the best ideas and nobody can lead this country better than I can. Deal with it. You don't seem to have any respect for people. The Mexicans, war heroes, news reporters, people in general. What's the story? Guess what? I don't care. I'm what really matters. And you're both losers. In fact, you're double losers. You're both fired. Oh, really, Donald? You're fired. Oh, my hair! And now for the Democratic side of the story. There are three candidates running for the Democratic nomination. F former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, and a third guy nobody knows. However, Vice President Joe Biden is also thinking for running for president as well. Let's go back live to New Hampshire with Hillary, to talk to Hillary Clinton, who is at her campaign headquarters in Manchester seeking votes. Good evening, Mrs. Clinton. Good evening. You can call me Hillary. Okay, Hillary, for the first time in history, a woman has a chance to become president of the United States. How does that feel? I feel pretty confident. In fact, I'm pretty confident about everything. How does your husband, Bill Clinton, feel about maybe becoming the first gentleman? He wasn't always a gentleman, but enough about him. This is about me. Okay, let's focus on you. What, what about the controversy about the emails and the classified information that might be on your computer? Oh, don't remind me. It has been said that some of those emails were top secret and people could get access to them. This is nothing but a distraction. Let's talk about the real issues. Education, healthcare, the economy, Iran, and the 17 clowns running for president. Okay, let's pick one of those issues. What about Obamacare? Don't you mean Hillary Care? Because when I'm president, we're going to do it the right way. And just what is the right way? When I'm president, we're going to have healthcare for everyone. Men, women, children, cats, dogs, birds. We're going to have health care for every living thing. That's going to be very expensive. Who's going to pay for it? The rich people, of course. People like Donald Trump and Bill Gates. Okay, Mrs. Clinton, thank you for talking with us. It's Hillary. Please call me Hillary. We don't need to use my last name. Is that because we already had a Clinton in the White House? No. I just want people to know it's me running for president, not my husband, Bill. Let's keep the focus on me. Okay, Mrs. Clinton, thank you it's for talking Hillary. with us. It's Hillary. Hillary for president. Okay, Hillary, thanks for talking with us. That's it? No more questions? I have more answers. I have more solutions. I'm sorry, Hillary, we just ran out of time. But I have more to say. Goodbye, Mrs. Mrs. Clinton. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this short message. Hey, guys, let's go play outside. Nah, no, thanks, Grandma. I'm not playing a game. Um, no, thanks. Um, you guys spend way too much time on your cell phones these days. You asked for it. Mom! Grandma! 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 Come on! Now that's better. Buy the knocky phony thingy today! for only $3,000. It's the thingy that brings your family together. And, and now for our next story. It looks like the dream of having the 2024 Olympics in Boston is over. The International Olympic Committee has decided to pull the plug in the Boston bid because there was no public support. 
Both Massachusetts Governor Baker and Mayor Walsh had had second thoughts about bringing the Olympic Games to Boston. Let's go live to the Boston Common where we have our reporter Octavia Olympic who is with the Mayor of Boston, Marty Walsh. Thank you, Terry. I'm here with Mayor Walsh to talk about the latest news regarding the 2024 Olympics. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. You're welcome. Catchy name, by the way. Thank you, sir. The Olympic bid has been taken away from Boston. First you supported it, then you didn't. What's the story? Well, at first I thought Boston would, would do great with the Olympics, but after hearing from the voters, I changed my mind. So, you mean you were convinced that it was too expensive for the city? No. I thought that I would lose votes in the next election. But what about these people who are getting ready for the next Olympics? What are you both talking about? The boss, the Olympics are not coming to Boston. What? The Olympics aren't coming to Boston? Well, can't you just fly to the next Olympics? Like, what's the problem? What about me? I have all these hot dogs to sell. What am I going to do now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these souvenirs? They already have the Boston logo on them. Uh, well, sell them on eBay? Ah, why didn't you cancel the Olympics? Well, there you have it. Boston has lost the bid for the, for the 2024 Olympics, and people aren't very happy about it. Uh, I hope Mr. Walsh is okay. Back to you, Terry and Daly. Thank you for watching Double Trouble News, where it's trouble all the time. Roxy, I thought she was coming over. Why don't you text her? What do I say? Ask her what's taking her so long. She's gonna be late. Okay. How about this? Where are you and what's taking you so long? Roxy's always late. She'll be late for her own funeral. Oh, she just responded. She says she's on her way and she'll be here any minute. I hope she gets here before Skylar does. What do you think of the new girl? She's a nerd. She's always carrying a ton of books, and she seems so quiet and shy. I heard she also seems to be afraid of her own shadow. <laughs> Where is she from? I heard she's from New Jersey, and her parents are getting a divorce. Who's getting a divorce? Oh, the new kid, Skylar's parents. What took you so long? My mom made me clean my room. When is she coming over? She should be here any moment. If you don't like her, why did you invite her over to your house? To do homework for us. And how are you going to do that? If she wants to be in the in club, she has to help us out. What if she doesn't even want to join our club? Everyone wants to join our club. Duh. Roxy, go downstairs and let her in. Why doesn't your mom let her in? Or you? My mother went shopping and I don't feel like it. Okay, I guess I'm going to go let her in. Sometimes he was so bossy. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, but I was thinking that. I don't care what you think. Just keep on doing what I say. But I was... Quiet. I hear them coming. Hi, Skylar. Welcome to my house. Hi. Wow. What a beautiful house you have. I think we're going to move to a better one soon. Time for introductions. This is Raina, my sister. This is Riley, and you already met Roxy. That's weird, all your names begin with R. That's okay, we'll make an exception for you. Where are all your books? I thought I was going to help you guys with your homework. Well, we thought you would just do the homework for us. Yeah, since you're so good at it, we thought you'd help us out. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to learn anything if I do it for you. Well, that's our problem, not yours. School is out in just a few weeks anyway, so are you going to do it? I guess, well, if it's just this one time. Yeah, just this one time. What are you guys doing this summer? 
I got a job with the City Summer Youth Program. I need a job too. My mom bought me tickets for the Ariana Grande concert and I need to pay her back. My mother got me tickets too, but it was for a Fall Out Boy concert. And I have to buy some new shoes. Can I get a job with that program? Sorry, it's too late. The registration is over. They already hired everybody. Well, I guess I'm lucky. My parents are rich and I don't have to work. Well, I'm not. I still need a job and I need money. Hey, I found this job posting on the internet. You have job available. Good pay, great hours, no experience needed. Does it have a number to call? No, but it has an address. What is it? It's 666 Mystery Lane. Now that's a mysterious address. Well, I need a job. I'm going to check it out. Me too. It's getting kind of late. And what about our homework? Forget that. I want to see this place. You can do our homework later. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling about this, guys. What are you, a scaredy cat? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it's just that I have homework to do and it's getting late. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. And besides, you can do our homework later. Come on. Let's go. I'll meet you guys there. I've got to babysit my sister. My mom's going out tonight. Is it okay to bring her? Sure, as long as you come. What's her name? Sam. It's short for Samantha. We'll meet you there at 3 p.m. Bye. 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 I like her. She seems to be nice. Yeah, not bad if you like geeks. <laughs> come on, let's go. Is this it? 666 Mystery Lane? My mother told me that number is the sign of the devil. Your mother's right. It says so in the Bible. Or maybe it's because across the street is number 667 and the one beside it is 668. Who is this? This is my sister Sam that I told you guys about. Whoa, Skylar, where's your glasses? Uh, sometimes I wear cotton tacks. Oh. Hi, Sam. I'm Raina, and this is Rosie, Riley, and Roxy. Welcome to the In Club. Hi, nice to meet you all. What are we doing here? Well, we're looking for a job we found on an ad online. It seems spooky. Are you sure you want to go in? <laughs> are you a scaredy cat like your sister Skylar? <laughs> <laughs> no, she isn't, but this place looks dark and unsafe. I think she has a point. What kind of job could this be? Oh, don't tell me you're a sissy like Skylar. <laughs> No, I think we need to be careful. Is the door open? Hey, what does that sign say? Youth job available. Good pay, great hours, no experience needed. Just like the ad online. I guess this is it then. Wait guys, what does that sign say up there? It says Magic Kingdom. Ooh, maybe this job has what something to do with Disney. Hey look guys, the door's open. Well, I need a job. I'm going in. Me too. I want to see what this job's about. Coming? I'm going too. Aren't you coming? I'm coming, but we need to keep our eyes open. This place needs to be cleaned. Ew. This is spooky! Oh my gosh, the door just came closed. It's locked! Oh, uh, this is getting scary, guys. What are we going to do now? I warned you guys about this. Come on, don't panic. It's just a house. I'll find a way out of here. Follow me. What are we going to do? Just take the blindfold off. Where's Captain Hook? There's someone looking for me. <gasps> Captain oh, Hook! The one and only. What are you going to do with us? I hate kids. Ever since Peter Pan came over <laughs> to my island with those kids, I've hated them ever since. Why are you making your own Disney World? I want to make my own Never Never Land from the kids that I can't stand. You don't even know us. 
I don't need to know you. Enough talk. Now for some magic. What have you done to Fozzy? She's now working for me. But I didn't want a job. Well, too bad. But it's not fair. Too late to change your mind. You can't do this. Tough. Captain, there are two girls walking around in the fantasy room. I'll deal with you girls later. You're not gonna get away with this. Yes, I can. Welcome to my world. I'm glad you joined me. No, I'm not alone. Now how are we gonna get out of here? We need to find the key, remember? My goodness, it's Minnie Mouse. What happened? I was once a young girl like all of you, and Captain Hook turned me into a Minnie Mouse to work for him. I hate Captain Hook. This place is getting on my nerves. Same here. It's okay, Minnie. We'll find a way out of here. You're going down a dangerous path. Be careful. We, we will. will. Hang tight, Minnie. Oh my goodness, what's this? It looks like a dungeon. This certainly isn't Disney World. How are we gonna get out of here? I don't know, I'm gonna try and see if I can reach Rosie. Is it ringing? No, it looks like the connect the service here is blocked. What's that noise? I don't know. <gasps> it's me, don't be afraid. You can talk? Yes, I can. Who are you? My name is TikTok and I and I am my lizard looking for Captain Hook. The Captain Hook from Peter Pan? Yes, that Captain Hook, and I'm trying to find him. But in the story you were a crocodile. JM Barry got it wrong in real life I am a lizard. This is crazy. What's real and what isn't? Wait, I assure you, this is very real. But what is this place and why is Captain Hook here? It's called Hook World, and the captain is kidnapping kids and turning them into evil Disney characters. Why? He hates kids ever since Peter Pan brought those kids to Never Netherland. He's had trouble. He wants revenge for his life. Why make a Hook World? Because he loves Walt Disney and wants to make his own amusement park, but it's e it's an evil part. I'll say, how do we get out of here? Find the magic key. You mean this key? Did you take it out of the Disney door? Yes. Then you found, then you found the right key. Now I've got to find Captain Hook. Good luck finding your friends. Which way should we go? Well, if the lizard went that way, I say we should go this way so we don't run into Captain Hook. You mean this Captain Hook? So you're for real? Yes, as real as you two. Now come with me. I told you I had a funny feeling about this place. Let us go. Let us go. Shut up, you two. Rosie, is that you? Unfortunately, yes. Shut up, all of you. Now I'll turn you all into Disney characters. Captain, I think TikTok is coming for you. No. No, not that stupid li No! Stay back. S stay back. No. Get off me! Not that stupid lizard. No. Get get away from me. Quick, Skyler, get your magic cane! Welcome back, Rosie. Thank you, Skylar, for saving me. I'm sure you would have done the same thing for me. I don't think I would have. I've been a really bad friend to you. I've been bossy. I want to start over again. It's not too late to change. Riley is right. You could become a better person. Now let's get out of here. I've got the magic key. 
Let's hear it for Skylar. Yay, Yay Skylar! This summer hasn't even started and we've already had a great adventure. But no one will ever believe us. But what about the magic cane? I say we bury it. It's an evil cane. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get out of here. I've got the magic key. Let's take Olaf with us. Let's get out of here. Get out of here.